Hey, what's going on? Steve JMO. Uh, it's the 18th of August. Yeah, it is. Um, just a quick sign up before I get into what I want to get into. Um, I am stuffed up today. I can't even breathe. And yesterday, they just happened to be chemtrailing like, like, like it was their job. Since the first day in the morning, if you check my Facebook out, it's on there. Um, my Facebook is Steve Richards. I'll do, literally, I took a picture yesterday morning, captioning it, great, we're breathing this in. And now today, I can't even breathe. They were doing it all day, and now it's just clouds. You can't, like... Like, see, just straight clouds today. Yeah, it's bad. I literally... I breathe better in the air-conditioned room today, which is probably not good. But what I want to get into today, to today is the Transformers hidden message. Uh, throughout the series, uh, you know, the Transformers series, I believe there's five of them. Um, they're literally the whole time just telling us, you replace the Transformers, at least the Decepticons. If you've replaced Decepticons with demons, they're literally telling you, like, what's about to go down. Um, so, uh, the first one, in Transformers 1, you got the AllSpark, which is a cube, which goes back to Saturn, um, but in real life, just coincidentally, in real life, at the Hoover Dam, where they were hiding this cube and Megatron, there is, um, a statue at the Hoover Dam of a cube guarded by a statue with seems to look like uh, fallen angels I don't know I, I think that's bizarre so check that out if you got time um, yeah yeah pretty yeah literally shows we're hiding some sort of power technology game from them whoever you think they are I, I have a good idea who I think they are um, uh, yeah, keeps putting our minds on aliens and space, just trying to just reinforce that the aliens are coming, space is real. The aliens are coming, space is real. If you've done any research or watched my, I know I, I dipped off YouTube for a while, but my older videos were literally all flat Earth, every single one, and it, I beat that into the ground. Like it's, it's pretty much, it's all over for that, and they're just trying to make you think that space is real and the aliens are coming so we got to unite as one and fight them or accept them as god whatever you whatever you want they're just trying to make you think that whatever oh uh, yeah demons you know oh like they said uh they've always been here you know they're demons they've always been here i think the decepticons are demons and they've literally always been here well I think anything like that is demonic but we'll get into that later um, alright so uh, the second one the name pretty much gives it away Revenge of the Fallen who is the Fallen in real life you tell me exactly um, da, 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 captured Decepticons before oh yeah in the movie, uh, yeah, they uh, get a Decepticon, pretty much dying. Right? His last words were, the fallen shall rise again. And I took that, not in the movie, but I took that, like, in real life. I was like, oh, crap. They're literally telling us what's about to happen. And it was like a weird, like, some sort of, like, demonic voice. Like, I don't know. I don't, you just watch the movie. Don't watch it for, like, oh, Michael Bay, great film, oh, sorry, no, no, don't watch it for that, watch it for, like, applications in real life. Um, da, 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 da. Yep, shows ancient markings all around the world that pretty much are the same, and in the movie it's called The Language of the Primes, but to me it seems like that these demons have their own language and blah blah yeah so pretty much the language of the primes is just like their own language because like all over the world we see markings and like ancient hieroglyphics and stuff like that that are like pretty similar and or have the same exact message I'm just saying I don't know 
Uh, yeah, shows the uh, Decepticons and the Fallen arrive as uh, what looks as, uh, what looks like meteor showers, and like we have they had a meteor shower on the twelfth, thirteenth. I don't think it was on this side of the world because I was up all night. I didn't see one meteor shower, but apparently on the other side they caught a couple things. Uh, I live in uh, Massachusetts, and I didn't see nothing. But I'm pretty sure it's just like a night like this, just gray trailed, you know, can't see anything. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Number three, the third one. All right. Uh, the Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, just to reinforce that space is real. Um, and in a way, sort of to like back up the Planet, planet X theory because they're trying to merge uh, Cybertron with us so people still, and they're like, oh, See, you're telling us they're gonna merge us with another planet. Like, no, no, no. They're gonna merge us with another dimension. Um, you got Sentinel Prime who shows up as the most pow powerful alien slash demon, whatever you want to call it. Um, what do they have to do? They gotta wake it up. It was, it was dead. They gave it life with the Matrix, I believe. And. It just, re it just relates back to CERN, man. You got their CERN awake project. Where are they trying to wake up? You know they're trying to wake up. Sorry about that. Um, so, I got just my opinion signed here. So, what am I... I don't know what I'm talking about. Autobots... Humans, Decepticons, Demons. Oh, yeah. Together, they awake Sentinel Prime. Sentinel Prime turns on the Autobots. Like, how, whatever they plan on waking up, it soon will turn on them. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, in a way, when they wake up Sentinel Prime, they're, they, it looks like it's a human act because what are we trying to do right now? We're trying to wake something ancient up that they think is good for them, but we know it's not. Just my opinion. And if you watch Symmetry, it, like the little movie that CERN puts out, it literally shows that Shiva, whatever whatever it is they're going to wake up, is going to turn on them or we're going to turn on them, and they're just going to pull the plug. That's what it looks like. Um, and the next one, so number four, you have the Age of Extinction. Uh, just gives it away to me, because just trying to exterminate us. But whatever, I digress. Uh, yeah, oh, this is a good one, I forgot. Oh uh, yeah, the key to the whole movie is uh, science has now the ability to make their own transformers, transformers, demons, whatever. Um, do we know how to summon demons and yeah, pretty much, yeah, they know how to, we, the, the ability, the application really, be like, we know how to summon demons, and now we know how to give them bodies, if you look into the transgender thing, or not trans, sorry, the transhuman thing, um, the capturing of Nimrod's DNA, so I don't know, it's all, it's all crazy, um, they did all their technology quantumly, uh, that relates to the D-wave and reality, come on, it's right there, baby, uh, scientists in the movie said all their AI was from programmable matter. Come on, man. You know they're getting that stuff from real life, right, CERN? Um, they had an army of Transformers made, which makes me believe they have an army of, like, wild-looking bodies made that these, like, demons are gonna just use. Or they're gonna come with their own bodies and just laugh at them. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, middle of Megatron's chest, who was, uh, like I said, made from programmable matter and on a quantum level in this movie. Literally, it's like in the middle of his chest, it's just like an orange ring, and then it's like orange, yellow, blue. It literally looks like the the, uh, the LHC chamber. I swear to God. Look that up and then look at that. Um, yeah, the, chat, the, 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 the lab shows are losing control. It relates right back to symmetry by CERN. Uh, shows how these demons slash transformers slash Decepticons are going to turn on humanity. Yeah. It's all right there, man. Uh, you got the last night. 
I'm not quite sure what the meaning is, but maybe we're the last night with the people who are awake. I, I truly don't know. But we'll go over that. Um, yep, yeah, literally shows our world, uh, their world merging with ours, uh, colliding, dimensions meet, whatever you want to put it as. Just know that plan the whole planet, planet X thing or planet nine, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's not going to happen. It's just a, like a diversion, basically, because they're going to merge worlds, but it's not going to be a physical world. Uh, in the movie, Captain Lennox says it's the New World Order. Just throwing that out there. The General says we have to let the dark stuff in when they're trying to make a deal with Decepticons, a.k.a. make a deal with the devil. Uh, also says in the movie we made deals with the, with the devil before. This is nothing new to us. So, with all that being said... What do you think is really going on in the Transformers movie? I think they're just telling us through Hollywood. I don't know. I'm out. Peace.